Hey everybody, it's Constance with Charming Custom and Crafts and I have a two-page layout to share with you. I actually repurposed a card I recently did, uh, the Hamakuna Matata card uh, with Lion King. It was supposed to be for the lady who was given as a kitten that we waited almost six weeks for. Unfortunately, she did not give us a kitten and we moved on. So since I made it purposely for that, I had a follower who had asked me to design a custom layout and it was perfect perfect for me to share what you can do with a re, you know, re, you know, repurposing a card. Uh, whether used, uh, store bought or new, there are many ways to use a card. So I made the, um, it says Hakuna Matata but I call it the king is the ruler. Um, but it just still means no worries, but it is uh, the roller one. Um, it, um, I hope you guys like it. Uh, it's for her little boy who just turned two. And here you go. Let's see if it focuses in. Here's page one. And page two. So let me go over how I did this. Uh, originally, if you go back to the video, and I will link it below, uh, this is the front of the card, and I will link it below so that you understand how I made this. And then this was originally the inside of the card. Um, so you'll, I'll, I'll be able to explain those to you in that video. Please refer back to the link below. But here, what I did is I added some extra features to it. And um, I'll share with you that I added some brown corrugated paper, um, some gold to blend in and match the gold from the Disney paper. Uh, it is a little bit more shinier, but it's got a nice texture to it. Um, I did use the leftover corrugated. I used a triple matte feature here. I used the same paper that was on the back for this piece and added the gold. And if you can see how I did uh, the border punch on detailing on what used to be the front of the card. And I did it down here so it just reincorporated everything together. Um, and of course the butterfly reincorporated down in here. I did not redo the butterfly or the bow in her hair uh, because um, you know this could be a, a big sister because um, she he does have several sisters. He's got two big sisters um, and he got um, a, uh, he's got two big brothers. Um, but um, I left it as is and what I did is I used um, I cut her out instead of leaving it like I cut it out this way. I actually cut her out individually. And I um, did the same thing to Simba, which I will get to. But I ended up using the back pa paper that's right back here. And you can see the print. And you, you can see it probably more clearly. Um, and a little bit more better here. But it has a lot of African print to it. So I cut a bunch of pieces out, like the tiki face, uh, the flower that I ended up making look like coconuts. Um, you know, the little palm tree here, the little details, even the flowers. I even made flowers. I actually took the fish and cut the tail off. And I will see if I can show you that. That actually originally was a fish. And I cut the tail off and made it more of a flower or leaf. So, I mean, I really did incorporate as much as I could. And I did use that Martha Stewart vine punch uh, to give it that look. I still have a spider web here from the hot glue. Now the butterfly I used two different Martha Stewart punches and um, I punched out two of the same color this um, leftover paper I had put a hot glued uh, a pearl heart half pack pearl heart in it and hot glued it together and put it down I wanted dimension to that pardon me I'm sorry I haven't slept in two days so anyway I put some liquid pearls and really I'm, I'm sorry I'm really tired and uh, if you've been following me on Facebook you know I've been working on this all day uh, in between running around uh, but I, I multi-layered everything so that it gave as much three dimension as I could and believe it or not she has not pop dotted down I just kept layering and I used the um, twine here and I remembered it's twine I couldn't remember when I actually did the card video but it, this is twine and this is going to be used to hold back any photos that she has here now what I did if you notice that the corrugated is um, 
vertical rather than horizontal. Uh, this is so that it gives a different texture. And when I did the palm trees, I made sure it was vertical or horizontal because palm trees layers, they layer um, horizontally. Uh, so I made it cool. I did put some liquid pearls in his eyes as I did with the um, liquid pearl in the middle. And I did do a little, little liquid pearl in between just like it was in um, the leaves to give a very a variated variated like variation not variation it's variated uh, effect of the plants um, and again and I used in, in little spots here I did put Simba down or Sim, Timon down here like he's just running around because he's really tiny so he's down here um, and you'll see part of Simba down here oh and I used uh, the green I had leftover paper from the Christmas tree uh, and I had a lot I actually have a lot of it I'm still working it up and I just made it into a rainbow effect and if you're wondering why I have sort of brown leaves Okay, I'm so terribly sorry. I know it's very rude. Um, this is the the brown brownish orange is the same as the background, which is the original background to uh, the paper uh, from Disney. Uh, what I did is I also made that into a rainbow effect with a cut edge, because palm trees when they grow they grow and suck from the bottom up. Um, they suck water from the bottom up. They also suck from the branches up. So that's the reason why you'll see branches underneath that are dead. So that I gave that 3D effect. Now, if you move on to the second page, and I did the palm trees the exact same way, but I slightly slanted them differently. Uh, but you'll see that I cut Simba out. And when you, if you look up here, Simba is in two different places here. And so when I cut his legs out, I intentionally laid it across and then I cut it. And I cut and put each piece in because that tail is absolutely separate if you see that. And I taped it in. Um, and I worked it all into the piece, including another butterfly. And I multi-layered that as well. If you look at the border, I actually did it different up here when I did it with the punch so that it was a different effect. And I did put the little tim uh, Timon and um, Simba at the top. And I did use black, per uh, black liquid pearls here and here and on these spots just to give a little highlights. I left the uh, roses here. I did not want to put too much in this because this is a guy. I left it in the sign. I could have taken it out, but it just goes with the whole flow with there. And it gives a dimension to that area. If you notice that I did put the flowers, and I actually have them as photo corners. I only taped here and here so that you can put a picture down in here behind the twine. So it would protect it, protect it, but it would also keep it from sliding. It will do the same when it tucks under, it'll do the same when it tucks underneath here and it tucks underneath here. And that's another reason why the butterfly is here. It is also acting as a photo corner. And again, I only taped here and here so that it acted as a photo corner. Um, I'm trying to make sure I show you everything. Again, this one's triple matted, and if you notice that I did do this one slightly different, even though it's still uh, horizontal to go with the palm tree, uh, the palm tree stopped right at the corner, which is exactly what my intent was. And then again, I put tiki faces in both of them, and I reused the fishes, the leaves, and there's actually a wood grain piece. If you look at it, there's actually a wood piece that's like a log right in front of the palm tree, like driftwood. Um, if you look, you got to kind of look at it because it's in there, trust me. Uh, it goes from here, it goes from here to here, and then I corner rounded it. And again, I kept multi layered everything so that it gave more of a three dimensional effect. And again, you'll see uh, the orangish color, like here. This was leftover paper, as what you see up here. It is the branches, of course, of a palm tree that is starting to dry out and get sucked up into the top part of the branches that are healthier. Uh, and still growing. So again, I used all the branches and I just love how it just slightly covers the tiki. But there you go. This one I call uh, The King is the Ruler. Uh, this is my two page Disney layout for Shannon for her little boy AJ. And he is a little boy. He's two. And she really likes how he did. Now, Shannon, there are some features in here that I did not share yet. But I left it open and I will send you the leftover scraps. I left it open in the back. I only glued, I only glued here, and I glued across, and I glued down here, and I glued up the side. It is all open underneath here for you to put mats and extra pictures in down here or anything else that you want to put. Now, I did not, I don't think I did. I may have. I did. If you, if you look, I also left a, a gap in the back of uh, where um, Simba is here, 
And I, I thought I did it up here, but it's glued here and here and here. Normally I wouldn't do that, and I think it was more of an honest mistake. Uh, but it's open here. You go side pocket here. And, of course, it is open here in the back. You can put whatever you'd like there. Again, I will leave you extra stuff. Anyway, hope you like it. See me on Facebook. Information down below or over the side.